of all these films that, that he's done, um, what made you pick this one for us tonight? Well, mm -hmm. first of all, it's, um, you know, it's lesser known than others. And, uh, and again, I think, um, um, well, first of all, the, you know, I kind of, I mean, of course, it, it doesn't really, it, maybe it was violent back then, but now it's kind of funny. So I, I kind of enjoy, you know, uh, it's kind of a funny thing. Um, I like that there are all the cliché of the Spaghetti Western. I mean, you got the little village, the bad guy, the gang, the train, the bank <laughs> being robbed. I mean, God, you know, dynamite. it's like dynamite. I mean, you got it all. So um, I think it's it's fun. And again, uh, you know, I have to admit the score is what, uh, you know, makes it really special to me. I remember um, I was probably 13, 14 years old. I went into a record store and I saw this uh, double LP vinyl, um, you know, uh, thing, and, and it was called something like the, the Music of Violence or something like that, from Ennio Morricone. The Music of Violence. Yeah, something like that, and I bought it, and, uh, and this was one of the tracks that really blew my mind. Um, that was the opening track of the film, Yeah, right? yeah there was the, the main titles, among other, other main titles from other movies, other Dargento movies, horror movies, and stuff like that. I mean, the work is amazing. I mean, you can hear some, you know, surf guitars, uh, you know, great orchestra. You can hear some, you know, avant-garde, I think, uh, you know, treatment in, in the vocals. I mean, it's really out there.